What's happening? Panda Nation, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I've got my Apple Watch on. Roost check! And want to do a little experiment that's a happy accident. First of all, I'm going out of town here uh, just for a few days, but I totally forgot to pack my Apple Watch charger. And despite the fact that I have these batteries and things specifically for traveling. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to continue to use my Apple Watch just like I normally would. No change to it. Uh, and in fact, um, I will probably be using it maybe a little bit more than on my normal day to day because I'll kind of be out and about and maybe checking my, uh, you know, text messages and emails via that a little more often. Uh, and just want to see how long this battery will last. All right, guys, end of day one, and it's been uh, about 16 hours, and you can see here, 64% remaining. So, hmm, to me that means it's going to last another day-ish. All right, we'll see. All right, guys, next morning, and about nine hours later, putting the watch back on, and the battery charge now is at 55%. So I've lost about 10%, just uh, 1% an hour while it has been doing nothing except being on. So just keeping track. Uh, so far I'm on track for about two full days of use. Let's see. All right, guys, here's the update. Midnight the second day, my watch says 30% available. 8 a.m. tomorrow would be two full days 48 hours you're deep into the third day but not past the third day so um post 48 hours with the apple watch and it's on its last legs and so what i can't tell you and let me explain here exactly how long it will last is because when you get down to 10 percent battery life left on the apple watch it actually offers you a power reserve type of mode which uh, i'm gonna use and so uh, but I will give you kind of my thoughts on how long it'll last without using it. So if you use that, it kind of does some wonky things and kind of shuts everything down and uh, kind of just stays minimally alive. And so who knows, you might actually get another uh, 10 hours or 20 hours behind it. Um, but what I think you're doing actually is burning battery on the Apple Watch at a rate. And what I would say you can conservatively use is 2% an hour. So that would say, you know, um, you should get 48 hours or 50 hours out of it, but I, you're actually getting a little more. So like I said, it's a little bit of a conservative number. Um, what I actually think is based on my experience is that you get to about uh, 50 to 55 hours and you have a 10% battery life left. Now again, I'm using it a little bit lightly. So I think you could get, if you didn't touch anything, 60 hours of runtime, which is actually pretty good. You know, it kind of gives me a little bit of peace of mind in terms of if I were leaving on a Friday after work, going away for the weekend, didn't take my charger uh, you buy, or intentionally or accidentally, it kind of gives me some peace of mind that, you know, if I get home at Sunday evening or something like that from a weekend trip that my watch would either still be working or just be kind of dying at that time. So. Uh, I do kind of like that. It's actually usable time. Pretty impressed with that. Surprise to the upside. Not blown mind by any means, but surprise to the upside. Peter Von Panda with my Apple Watch out.